Hey, Mikey, it's Messiah Trump is here. I just want to personally thank you for being the most obsequious ass kissing lick spittle I've ever met in my life. Believe me, I thought it was funny as hell when you and your bimbo had publicity photos taken of you praying while claiming you're the new Moses. That's almost as hilarious as pretending a sociopathic narcissist like me is the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's true. Hell, if you're this desperate for approval from a bankrupt game show host in ladies makeup and a diaper, just imagine what you'd do if the real son of God suddenly paid you a visit. Maybe you'd get off on confessing your master masturbatory fantasies to Jesus like you make your son confess his to you. Christ's sake, I'm a pervert, but I'd, ne I'd never sink so low, sort of like husband closet homosexual pedophilia, isn't it? But what do I know? I never cared enough about my sons to talk to them about their sexuality when they were kids. I just ogled their girlfriends and got a little handsy with a few, believe me. And anyhow, the more of you brainless, fake Christians climb aboard my train to hell, the better trust me. You keep the brainless MAGA riffraff happy every time you repeat my lies and hold up any legis legislation that it, that it allow Biden's stinking fascist Democrats to actually help Americans, idiots, believe me. I might even take a ride on your wife's air. She's not the worst looking bimbo around. Hell, she puts that dog faced margarine tailed bream to shame. But who doesn't? It's true. If that one really wants to fit in with the Trumpist bimbos, she'd better get some rhinoplasty and a chin fix like yesterday. But Mikey, um, thank you really sincerely for holding off on delivering Alejandro Mayorkas articles of impeachment to the Senate until the start of my first criminal trial. It's mighty wide of you to use your scammy dog and pony hijack of the U.S. government to take the focus off me and my crimes, believe me. I'm so happy I might even let you watch me entertain your wife. I bet you'd enjoy that, wouldn't you? Jerry Jr. sure likes that stuff. Maybe your son can watch too. You force him to join you in abstinence from harmless fantasy and natural self-release. What's the diff, am I right? Sure I am, trust me. Well, that's about it, Mikey. I don't have much more to say to a, a hypocritical evangelist diaper stain like you at the moment, in case you think I'll like you more, just because you, you grovel at my feet like a piece of slime mold and uh, act as unchristian and un-American as I do, trust me, it's never gonna happen. Yeah, I'm a narcissist with basically zero self-esteem and a deep sense of internal self-loathing. And believe me, I think anyone who is anything like me is disgusting. And that's you, Mikey. Now hand over half your salary, put it on the table. Scavino will grab it and take a hike. Scavino, Scavino, you were right for once in your, uh, your pathetic life. I think you'll do. You can have your three days off, but make sure you train Johnson on the wet wipes. I don't want anything left behind stuck to the short and curlies. Do you believe your husband is here in this role um, for such a time as this, at this particular moment, for a reason? I do. I do. I believe that God has placed him here. That's biblical. The Bible says he raises up leaders and he, he brings them down, right? So, he, so I believe that God has him here for just this time.